In my previous video, I talked about how your intuition can lead you to undesired results. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you three very different reasons why that is actually a good thing. Hi, Sorcerer. So why is it a good thing that your intuition sent you down the wrong path? Well, the first possibility is that it prevented you from harm. There's this beautiful story about a woman who was supposed to fly into New York and visit her friend at the Twin Towers on 9-11. But her mother insisted on visiting her that very same day. Her mother was so adamant, claiming that her intuition told her that that was actually a good time to visit her, that the woman, much to her chagrin, canceled the appointment with her friend. It looked like her mother's intuition spoiled what could have been a great trip. But after what happened, she realized that her mother's intuition hadn't been wrong at all. There are more stories about people who have evaded disaster simply by following their intuition. But mostly, we will never know why our intuition sent us down the wrong path, simply because the harm never happened. So next time your intuition leads you to something that looks bad, be grateful for being alive instead. The second option why it's a good thing when your intuition sends you down the wrong path is simply because it shows you what you believe about yourself. Let me illustrate that with an example from my own life, because I wondered for a long time why my intuition led me to marry the wrong man, a man who became an addict and turned out to be gay. But one day I finally understood. When I was young, I felt very ugly and I was ashamed of my body. I wasn't aware of it at the time, but I subconsciously believed that no handsome, good man would ever be interested in me. My vibration was one of unworthiness when it came to men. So my intuition had no choice but to show me what my beliefs about myself were. How else would I ever find out and be able to change them? And yes, now I do believe I'm beautiful and I'm proud of my body. And my vibration is one of worthiness. My intuition led me to a handsome, strong, and good man. So next time your intuition leads you to something that looks bad, ask yourself what it is you believe about yourself, and then change your beliefs to lead you to the desired outcome. In this video, I will explain this in more detail. The final possibility why your intuition is sending you down the wrong path is because it's setting you up for something even better. This is clearly different from the previous possibility because now your beliefs and vibration are in the right place. Have you ever had a situation in your life where you were disappointed about how something turned out only to realize later that something much better happened just because the first thing never happened? Oprah Winfrey wanted to pursue a career in media and following her intuition, she took up a job to present the news at a local Tennessee's TV station. However, she was fired from that job with the words, you are unfit for television. Had her intuition led her down the wrong path? Clearly, it was just to show her there was an even better option for her than the news in Tennessee. She relocated to Chicago and started working as a talk show host. And we all know how that ended up. So next time your intuition leads you to something that looks bad, instead of feeling disappointed, say, I wonder what better thing the universe has in store for me. So to recap, when your intuition sends you down what looks like the wrong path, find out which of these three reasons is the cause, be grateful, and look forward to better things coming your way. Have a sourceful day.